Hey everybody, Jim here. Uh, obviously in Akihabara right now. Uh, I was here uh, just to go to Akihabara Container to go to the Cowboy Bebop pop-up shop they're running right now. And uh, I got finished there and it was still like, you know, it's still early afternoon. So I didn't feel like jumping back on the train and going home just yet. And uh, I mean, it's Akiba, so there's, you know, tons of stuff to do to occupy your time. But uh, I figured right now I'd just, you know, pop into some random game shops, maybe uh, some figure shops. I really have no rhyme or reason uh, to what I'm doing today. Wasn't even really expecting uh, to go anywhere aside from that, uh, you know, that pop-up shop. Uh, so I, I guess I have a couple of game shops in mind I want to go to right now that I haven't been in in a while and uh, see how their uh, their stock is if they got anything new or or what have you and I might go into like one or two figure shops I'm even considering uh, buying kind of like one of those random uh, grab bags where you just pay for a mystery bag and there's just like a ton of figures in it um, so I don't even know how I'm gonna edit this video together honestly this is I literally just pulled the camera out and I was like okay let's do this now uh, so maybe I'll just, I don't know, just meld all the footage together. I don't feel like, you know, boring everybody with like, I'm at this shop, this shop, this shop, etc. etc. You've seen it a million times. I've been here <laughs> a million, billion times. So much of my content is Occupy related. Boy, I really got to diversify. I think that's what a lot of people have said. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, kind of crowded for a Thursday, actually. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go into some shops and... Uh, Oh, whenever I'm in there, I'll pull the camera back out and we'll see if we can't find some video games. And video games, video games. On the look for some video games. Ooh. Battery exchange completed. So these have fresh batteries. And, whoa! some of these nice so we have some games that are half off so some of this stuff is like four bucks chain pad so lots of stuff on sale lots of new refurbished batteries can't complain about that hmm. and more in the market for ooh, all the dick do I want all the dick? I don't know. Do you? Does anyone? Um, really, it was in the more in the area for some PC Engine. We'll get around to that. In specific, I need an arcade card because I have arcade games, but no arcade card, and this looks pretty cool. At Labor. This actually does look pretty cool. It's probably it's like a kind of a strategy action game. This isn't anything I'm really in the in the mood for. Shin, uh, sh uh, Crayon Shin Chan 2. It's pretty cool, actually. I've played the first one and enjoyed it. Let's have a look at some PC Engine. Mm, they don't really have a lot. They have a lot of these already. Where, where, where? Probably, probably, probably. Actually, mm, this one. Looking for. I've been looking for it, but I've been thinking about it. Body, body. Uh, Densetsu. It's a Taito game. It's a motorcycle racing game. So it's kind of like Hang On. It's based on an anime. It's like 20 bucks. I can pick that up. I'll take that with me. What else we got? It doesn't look like they have an arcade card, unfortunately. Which is exactly what I was looking for. We have some Mega Drive games, though. Wow. So they pared them down quite a bit. Do they have Sonic and Knuckles? No, they do not. They have Aladdin. 
pay 30 for a lab. Side, side blade. Gonna pass. Uh, what have we got here? Mega Drive. Mahjong. No thanks. Uh, yeah, I think that's good. I'm gonna get my buddy buddy Densetsu and then let's move on to a different shop. I just popped into a figure shop just for fun. Those are one of those grab bags, by the way. They just have like random stuff in them. Uh, there's some pretty cool figures here. One Piece and Dragon Ball. I can see why these are so popular. Um, I don't know, I'm thinking maybe like I could accommodate like some small figures in my apartment for now. I'm hoping to move to somewhere larger like pretty soon. Um, I don't know. But these are pretty cool. I'm not familiar with all these. I do know Shin Chan's dad. And uh, some JoJo stuff. That's probably like more like what I would want. Stuff I'm like really familiar with. It's a pretty kick ass Darth Vader. Oh, is that Raul? Lupin and that kind of thing. That's probably the kind of stuff I'd go for. Like things I'm really familiar with. No, I don't know. Like I see so many anime that I don't really recognize because I've been out of the loop for so long. I don't really watch anime anymore, unless I rewatch like old 90s anime. But I must admit, some of it does look very cool. Lots and lots of Dragon Ball. Mm. There are like f five floors to this place, jeez. How many figures do you need? Some uh, other stuff. Naruto, it's like the only one I recognize. Full Metal Alchemist. Lots and lots of Hasune Miku. Pretty cool stuff. If I do say so myself. Good lord. Kind of narrow though. Okay. I'm becoming that guy that just looks and doesn't buy anything now. It's not a library. But pretty cool nonetheless. For all of my uh, viewers who are anime fans, I'm sure you'd be, uh, be in hog heaven right now if you're a figure collector. So these places are really good for. Narrow fit in here. All right, I think I'm done in here. Let's move on to the next place. No ten, Jokuigi, Sega Satan. Two three D Kakuto game. それがパーチャファイター two. Sega. Okay. Looking at some more. PC engine, and I can see here a drawing from my good friend Saramaru, but looks like FX Unit Yuki is all sold out, unfortunately. No FX Unit Yuki for me, but they do have quite a number of games though. They have... Factory sealed. No thanks. Hmm. 1552. No idea what that is. Wizardry. Space Battleship Tomorrow. Another instance where I actually have a lot of this already. Oh, there we go. Uh, 60 bucks. 
love, love, love to find that damned arcade card. But I simply cannot find it. What do we got here? I need got a trendy, huh? Oh, we'll come back. We'll come back to that. Which consoles are region locked? Oh, that's very, very handy. Look at that. For all you foreign uh, collectors coming for a visit, it's a very handy uh, guide to what consoles are region free and which are not. Zoom. I think I had a look at this before. I might pick that it up. It's only eight dollars. That's that's not much to take a chance. It's less than eight bucks. Hey, Dick Tracy. Less than thirty. A couple of prospects in here. Some stuff I might grab. Sega Saturn, my beloved. Hmm. Biohazard. I actually do not have Saturn Biohazard. So I might go ahead and pick this up today. It's about, I would say that's like $13 for Biohazard on Saturn. Not a bad deal. I think I will get that actually. Get some other stuff here. Street Fighter. Say you. Hmm. A little bit naughty. Okay. So biohazard. I'll most likely grab that. And maybe that uh, $8 Mega Drive game. Speaking of biohazard. Well, we've got some biohazard games here. Nice and cheap too. Like 10 bucks for these. Can't go wrong with that. Whew. And there's something to dig through all of these PlayStation games. We'll take some time before they charge it for JoJo. 20 bucks for JoJo. Not so bad, I guess. Back in there. And Power League. Thought it was Parodius, it's Power League. My bad. My reading is not perfect. Rockman all the way down there. The problem in here is how narrow it is. And I pretty much always have a backpack on. Very hard to maneuver. I get a Saturn towel. I'm literally pulling my arms in right now to, to not knock stuff off these shelves. Mm. For shits and giggles, let's look at the case. Ooh, an ADK collection. Oh, geez. It's expensive, but that's very cool, though. Rainbow Islands, Pot Flamel, Magical Chase. Some more Summer Carnival, Image Fight 2. Very, very good stuff in here. Some of the prices are actually reasonable for what they are. Oh. We even have some English titles, people. Some pretty good ones too. Act Razor, Mortal Kombat, Battletoads, Zelda. American games, baby. Okay, I'm gonna grab probably that biohazard. And then I don't know, we'll move on. We'll move on to the next place. I don't know where it's gonna be, but yeah. I'm happy that at least I'm picking up a game today. Now deep inside another figure shop. Stuff. These are awesome little gachapons, but it's not random. You can get whatever you want. But look at the prices. Um, so, despite how much I do love some Yu Yu Hawk show, we'll be getting that. But this is the kind of stuff that I could easily have in my apartment. Smaller things like this. This Chun Li is pretty awesome. It's only it's less than ten bucks, but uh, I don't know. That is very cool. I like that. Stuff like this I can accommodate right now. It's just not like the big, big stuff. Oh. It's 
sort of a vending machine of sorts. You can get figures. Price of like six bucks, twenty bucks, things like that. Tiny little guys, stuff like this. See, I can see the appeal of small figures like this because they're less less uh, space consuming. Unless, of course, you buy like a million of them. I've seen people go out of control with their Funko Pops. And so, like, just an entire wall of their house is constructed out of Funko Pop figures. I don't think the, uh, the convenience of their, their small size really applies anymore when they're a uh, vital part of the, uh, <laughs> the structure of your home. Please don't move that. That's a load-bearing Funko Pop. These are, some of these DBZ figures are really excellent, they're very detailed. Look at this Android 17 right here. That's awesome. That's like a 30, $35 figure, I guess. Some of these figures, yeah, amazing. The, the detail on them is, uh, yeah, beautiful. I would have, like, this is the kind of stuff that when I was still like a, a teen, living back at home, watching anime and whatnot. I would have killed to have stuff like this. Some cool Detective Conan figures. These, I know there's a high demand for some of these. My friend uh, Carcamo, over in Panama, he collects these Saint Seiya figures. And uh, wow, that one's over 400 bucks. That's, that's a lot of money. A lot of money for a figure, but you know, collectors. We all have our, our vices. Collecting is sort of illogical at times. These are cool as well. Pan. I can't remember the last time I saw a pan figure. So, ooh. Hello, Lele. That's cool. Not many Darkstalkers figures hanging around either. Very cool stuff in here. And also this place has the um, these grab bags the varying prices might want to get one of those at some point oh uh, but I think I've had enough of this shop let's uh, let's go somewhere else Messiah characters like Shabib and Man and others. I might pick up Kickball, actually. It's like 18 bucks, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Maybe some Kickball. Dun, Doku, Dun. Dodgeball. Maybe. Maybe Kickball. Oh, lordy. Goats and Diner. I should just go and like ask a clerk if they have any arcade cards in this mofo. Because I desperately need an arcade card to play my arcade games. I just already have it, but it's interesting that there's a, a, there's a Cyber City Oedo 808 PC Engine CD game. It's kind of a investigative, visual novel kind of thing. Oh boy. I don't see any arcade cards though. I see plenty of arcade games. And I have these, that's why I want an arcade card so I can actually play my games that require it. 
I'll be damned if I'm not having a hard time coming across that mofo. What? Mario neckties? Oh, this would be perfect for work. Looks just like a regular crappy necktie, but with Mario on it. And no thanks. <gasps> Puzzle Bobble 4. It's about 20 bucks. That's going home with me today, people. Puzzle Bobble 4. That's mine. Put it back. Nobody better touch it while I'm gone. I'll be back for you, Puzzle Bobble. <laughs> hey. Under defeat and trigger heart excelica. Two outstanding shooters. Okay, so puzzle bubble four. I'm gonna get. Alright. Saturn, Saturn, Saturn. All the classics. Hey, Christmas nights is still six bucks, so that's nice. Slayers. Hmm. I'm going to find something as good as Pubble, Puzzle Bubble for... I don't know what the odds are, though. Again, I have uh, some of this good, good stuff. Saturn Bomberman fight. For 20 bucks. Hmm, that's a maybe. We'll give that a maybe. I think the hybrid front. Cool box art. Um, Puzzle Bobble might be the only thing I pick up here. Dino Land. What is in Dino Land? Oh, video pinball. That's quite cheap as well. Hmm. Russell Ball. Cool cover art anyway. I think I might just get Puzzle Bobble 4. And then be on my way. Willy Wombat. I'm not going to pick this up today, but I will recommend people go and watch uh, Jimmy Hoppa's review on that. It was quite good. And, again, for shits and giggles, we'll have a look inside of a game case. Which is nuts. Herper Duel, Metal Slug. not going to be taking out a loan to pay for these. Um, okay, I think that's it. I'm going to grab Puzzle Bubble 4. And I am going to get the hell out of here. Okay, so that's going to do it for today. Uh, I'm satisfied. I grabbed a few games and saw some, you know, some prices, kind of like perused, browsed, and that's always fun. Video game window shopping. And some cool figures too. Kind of makes me want to get back into figure collecting. But uh, not really an option right now with the space limitations. But you know, for a random day of just popping in and out of a few stores, not so bad. I actually came away with a couple of good games and the prices are, uh, you know, they're prices I can live with. So I think for now, I'm going to pack it in, maybe get something to eat, and then get on the train back home and go play these games I picked up today. So everybody, as usual, thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing, etc., etc. And I will see you next time. Take care, everybody. Goodbye.